Here's who stood out on day 16 of 49ers training camp and day one of their joint practices with the Los Angeles Chargers. Keep in mind, I got to see only the offense today. The 49ers defense practice on a field far away from where I was standing. Tight end George Kittle. He beat all pro strong safety Derwin James both times they faced each other during one-on-ones. He won first with a dig route from right to left, then won with a whip route, which is a fake to the inside, then a cut back to the outside. No safety in the league can cover Kittle consistently. Tight end Ross Dwelly. He beat Chargers backup safety Alohi Gilman with a gorgeous stick nod route during one-on-ones, then beat him later in the same drill with a whip route. He also caught a touchdown pass in the red zone during 11-on-11s. Dwelly is going to get a ton of playing time this season. Tight end Jordan Matthews. He won all of his reps during one-on-ones with ease. None of the Chargers backup safeties and linebackers could cover him. Matthews is a tough matchup as a tight end. He used to be a slot receiver. Tight end Michael Pruitt. He made a long catch during one-on-ones and had a clutch third down conversion during 11-on-11s. For a blocking specialist, Pruitt is a decent receiver who can get open. Fullback Kyle Juszczyk. He caught a long pass from Jimmy Garoppolo during 11-on-11s. He should have caught a second deep one, but Garoppolo overthrew him. Juszczyk is such a good receiver. Wide receiver Jawan Jennings. He caught a touchdown pass in the red zone from Trey Lance. Jennings has been consistently productive since he returned from the COVID-19 list. He's in terrific shape. Wide receiver Travis Benjamin. He caught a deep touchdown pass from Garoppolo early in practice. It's interesting that head coach Kyle Shanahan keeps calling passes for Benjamin and almost never calls passes for Simba Webster, who played well during the 49ers' first preseason game. Seems like Shanahan wants Benjamin to make the roster. Apprentice to the offensive line coach Joe Staley. He drove up from his home in Encinitas to watch the 49ers offensive lineman practice and to get a feel for whether he might like to coach them in the future. Staley stood there with a serious expression on his face, but didn't say much. Maybe he was nervous. Wide receiver Jalen Hurd. He still hasn't practiced since he caught three passes in one day last week. It seems like it takes him a year to get healthy enough to practice one time, then he needs another year off. I doubt he'll ever play in a real game. Tight end Charlie Werner. He caught a touchdown pass in a red zone drill when he was wide open, but also was the only tight end on the team who lost all of his reps during one-on-ones. He's not a good enough route runner to get open against most linebackers and safeties. The backup offensive line. It's not an offensive line. It's just offensive. The left tackle is someone named Corbin Kafusi because Jalen Moore is now the starting left tackle because Trent Williams, Sean Coleman, and Justin School all are injured. The left guard is Colton Kivitz. The center is Jake Brendel. The right guard is Senio Calamity because Aaron Banks is injured. And the right tackle is Tom Compton. This group gave up five sacks in just 22 pass plays. Embarrassing. The 49ers have to play Trey Lance with the starters so they can get a fair evaluation of him. He's playing well with the backups because he's so gifted, but he's running for his life. 